Welcome to the BitC Academy. Today we're going to be discussing the spot market interface and going over all of the quirks and features to allow you to buy and sell cryptocurrencies on the BitC platform. Go ahead if you have not already and log into your account. Once you have done so, we are going to be heading over to the spot market uh, where we will be spending the duration of uh, this video. Uh, I am going to be utilizing the night mode for this video essentially so you can uh, track my cursor a little bit better. Um, so as you guys can see, this is the lovely spot market. Uh, we have the charts, we have the recent trade history uh, and a handful of other stuff. Uh, but first we are going to be discussing the market options uh, right up here at the top left. As you can see, we have a handful of different markets offered on this platform. Uh, we are going to be staying in the Bitcoin market for the duration of this video, uh, but you also have all of the markets listed up here. So right here we do have our order book as you can see these are all the people attempting to sell bitcoin right now all the people attempting to buy bitcoin right here in the middle we have the size this is uh the the um the partial orders being filled and this is the uh, total amount attempting to be filled right here in the middle we do have the market price eight thousand one hundred and forty nine dollars even and why it's even is because up here at the top we have this grouping category uh so this is essentially allows everything to be even as you can see there is no uh, eight thousand one hundred sixty dollars and one cent it's rounded to the nearest fifty cents uh with the lowest grouping. One thing that's also very unique about Bitsy.com is that the order book is an all-in-one order book, which means that the liquidity across all the currencies are combined into one order book. Uh, so for example, if I was to be using the USD to BTC market, um, I would also be trading with a handful of other different cur uh, currency markets uh, like the Euro to BTC market as well. Uh, so coming up here, we are going to be discussing uh, the buy and sell order tabs, and then we will be getting into the open order and order fill section. Uh, so currently we have the limit and the market section we are going to be discussing in this video. With the limit section, this essentially allows you to place a given price for the Bitcoin you want to purchase and the amount of Bitcoin you want to purchase. Uh, they also give the, you the option to choose between different percentages of the, the uh, fiat currency you are using. So I I do have $32.75 in my account, so if I wanted to use 100% of that, I could press that, and I am good to go. Um, they also allow you to set time durations, so for example, if I wanted to set a one-day period and my order is not filled within the one day, it will be canceled after that one-day period, and you could also set good till cancel, so it will not um, cancel itself until I manually do so. Next up, we have the stop tab. The buy stop order can serve a variety of purposes with the underlying assumptions uh, that a, a, a price for a cryptocurrency that's climbing uh, to a certain height is continuing, is going to continue to rise. Uh, so this is going to be very beneficial uh, for those bull runs out there. If a given cryptocurrency is beginning to pump and you do hit your stop limit, uh, you can essentially buy into that cryptocurrency because it will most likely continue continue to rise um, thereafter. Now with the take profits tab, while the market is ranging, take profit orders are often uh, preferred. Uh, it's because resistant levels often hold back price advantages and support levels often hold up price drops. Uh, therefore, if you are buying low in price and it moves up to resistance in a range bound market, a take profit order at an elevated price is desirable before the market retraces closer to or below your entry point. Uh, now, this is going to be more beneficial for the short term traders. Now, if you're a long term trader, you're not necessarily going to want to use this tab, uh, but essentially you can do everything you can do in these other tabs. You can adjust the price according the amount you want to purchase and the trigger price as well and uh, that's that now the the same applies to the sell side although when it comes to the stop limit uh, that is going to essentially uh, help you from losing uh, uh, a large amount of funds for example if I set a stop limit for Bitcoin at eight thousand dollars essentially if Bitcoin did cross the eight thousand dollar mark uh, my stop order would initiate and 
um, my my cryptocurrency would be uh, sent into the market to be sold. Same applies for the take profit, uh, but like I said, that is going to be uh, more beneficial to the short-term players out there. Next, uh, we are going to be discussing the markets tab. Now, the markets tab is going to be very beneficial for the people out there, uh, the investors that just want to buy and sell instantly and don't really want to hassle with um, uh, timing. So uh, with the markets tab, you can essentially put in the amount of USD you want to purchase a, the Bitcoin at. Uh, for example, if I wanted to use 100% of my USD holdings, I could press the 100% tab and I will be purchasing at the market uh, price, which would be this number right here in the middle. Uh, essentially, I can do this for stop orders and take profit orders as well. And these same fundamentals would apply with the limit uh, tab. Now, uh, when it comes to the open order section, uh, just for the sake of this video, I am going to show you guys what pops up. So, for example, if I was to place a limit order at um, $8,000 and I'm putting a low price so I can show you guys an example of an open order without it going through instantly and I want to purchase 100% Bitcoin and good till cancel it, I could press buy my open order is down here. It says limit buy because I use the limit section. I am attempting to purchase at 8,000 USD. My total filled is zero because no one's going to be selling Bitcoin $133 cheaper than it actually is. The value is $32, good till canceled, and the time and date that I did um, set this order at. Now I am going to be canceling this confirming and we are going to be placing a market buy to show you essentially what will happen when the order goes through instantly uh, so i am going to be market buying with the market 100 percent 32 dollars and 50 cents and buying now this essentially should go through instantly as you can see it does show down here it also does show my history from earlier today when i sold some bitcoin for the sake of this video i hope you found this video informative thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you in the next